and then we get to Roxena, right? That that yeah, is Roxena. how God. What was that? Ten years later. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know. Yeah. And we thought it was going to be once in a lifetime, ended up being twice. Um, again, like for, for that period of time, that was, you know, the same connotations in the sense of like rock was maybe in the Hogan role now and Cena was in the rock role now. You know what I mean? Like generational right. icons and things like right. that. Um, it, you know, it's been kind of well documented. I think the rocks even said it himself that he wasn't overly happy with the way it was going into Cena. Maybe wasn't happy that, the Rock then got the win, but I guess you could see the writing was on the wall being in Miami too. Uh, what, is, what did you think going in? Yeah, it was in Miami. Um, you know, but I, you know, I felt bad. Like, you know, Cena was carrying the company for a good 10 years or so at that point. And he was and he's working hard, doing a hell of a job, making money for the company. And then Rock goes, you know, you got to remember, Hogan passed the torch to Rock. Twice, by the Twice. way. Mm. took the torch and then he went to Hollywood <laughs> shortly <laughs> after that right yeah and then you know and he comes back 10 years later and then of course yeah all the odds were in rocks the Hollywood star he's getting bigger you know and he wasn't in, you know he wasn't he was doing everything in Hollywood at that time and of course he's he's already he's done so much since then yes and uh but you know there had to be paybacks and you know Cena got it back the second time that's yeah. for sure yeah, at least no, they but, did that business the second yeah, time round, right? Yeah, like, yeah. and ironically, Cena's gone on to Hollywood now. So. <laughs> yeah, Cena's going on to Hollywood too. Yeah, and I see him on all the commercials, and he's doing voiceover. He's doing great, phenomenal mm. guy. He, he's a hustler, man. See, John Cena's also, and you'll see him up there in Hollywood all the time too, coming up soon, I'm sure. And I remember another early one that I enjoyed was um, Triple H and Batista, right? Being from WrestleMania, right. Right. and um, now this that was all about making uh, Batista, of course, he was coming out of Evolution, going to be the world champion. Right. Um, I, I imagine, now this is just me riffing, having spoken to Triple H several times, I imagine Triple H is pretty hands-on with how things go in his matches like that. Like, is, is, oh, there yeah. is there certain superstars like Triple H who are more meticulous about things like that? Yeah, Triple H, you know, we used to always, he used to always do a push spot with me and everything and years ago, and he's very particular about his matches and, and the spots and where, where the referee is and you know, and, and the bump and taking care of a referee. You know, Triple H is old school. I remember when he came in here as Hunter Hearst Elmsley mm. and uh, first started out back then. And actually, look where he went. You know, I remember doing his match at WrestleMania from, I think the Warrior went over on him in 30 seconds. It was like 35 seconds or something. And I had that match, you know, and then now look where Triple H is now. You know, he's running the company pretty much. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and one day probably even at a higher level. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. God, no. you're you're there, Alex. You're right there. 